Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm working on some character designs for my next project, which is a comic book. If you've been following this channel a little while, then you know that I started drawing again to make a comic, and this is what I'm working on right now. It's almost a year now since I started drawing again, which is kind of amazing. A year ago I actually had no idea that I would start drawing, and it was just some spur of the moment thing, I just decided to go for it, finally. I've been thinking about this idea for a long time. A few years ago, when I was living in Berlin, I even signed up for a comic drawing course once. The problem was that the course never came about, there weren't enough people interested. so. I kind of gave up on the whole thing, because I didn't really know where to start, and I also wasn't very good at drawing at the time, and I didn't know how to practice, and it was a lot more difficult than it is now. You can learn almost anything online these days, from video editing, to drawing, to how to develop film, and all sorts of stuff. It's just a really interesting time to to start anything creative. Back in Berlin I didn't know where to start, and you know, it's easy to say you start at the beginning, but where is that exactly? Is that at the beginning of the story, or is it with the characters, or is it with the style? It's so hard to find out how to do this sort of thing. Then just a few months ago I saw the vlogs of someone here on YouTube who was making a comic. She had an idea, and just a few months later she had a whole comic. She documented the whole process in her vlogs, and these were incredibly interesting to watch. I will link them below so that you can have a look too. I found it really inspiring to see her create this comic, and from just an idea to something tangible. Watching these videos made me realize that we all don't really know where to start, and we all have to start somewhere. I also started with photography somewhere, and I didn't know back then either where it's gonna go. I just have to get going and see where this whole project will take me. These last few weeks I've been working on many photography projects and also on some new videos. You may have watched my vlogs, and then you know that I've been doing all sorts of other stuff apart from drawing. In fact, I didn't have that much time to draw, because deadlines are coming up for certain photography things, and I just needed to get started with that sort of stuff. The one thing I've kept up in the last few weeks, though, is my animal characters, and these are for my comic. The comic is set in a distant future, and in this future, humanity has not survived. Only the animals are left, and they have, of course, been influenced in some ways by us, through their experiences with us in the past, but we are basically gone. And there is, of course, a certain judgement in that. I don't think we're living very sustainable lives on this planet, and it's gonna come back on us eventually. Recently I've read a book by Peter Freys, and it's called Four Futures – Life After Capitalism. It's basically a book about automation, and the consequences this might have for our society. He outlines four different possibilities, some of them are good, some of them are bad, but I would say none of them are very convincing to me. For me the most likely outcome of all of this is that we somehow manage to make this planet entirely unlivable for us. In the end the book finally gave me an angle on this comic I've been working on. The question that was still open to me was why it had to be animal characters, apart from that they're cute, obviously. There had been something at the back of my mind, and I couldn't quite place what it was until I read this book. I knew that the comic would be set in the distant future, and that no humans will appear in it, but I didn't know how it all fit together until I realized that it is all about humanity and its failings. I think the story that I would like to tell in the end is how the animals can avoid to repeat our mistakes. 
when you watch the news these days and see young kids protesting against the climate policies of our government, then you must realize that something is going on where we have to act now or it's gonna be too late. The future that no one really wants to consider is the one where we didn't act in time, and where it's all too late and we can't change anything anymore. It seems sort of inconceivable to have humans out of the picture, but this is what is going to happen if we make this planet unlivable for us. Nature usually doesn't care about what's livable and what's not, it will just adapt. But are we able to adapt? I don't think so, to be honest. Not in our numbers, at least. A few disasters in a row, and humanity could go the way of the dodo. This fifth future is what my comic is going to be about. I've always been fascinated by post-apocalyptic futures, but mostly humans were involved in those. What if we discard that possibility though? What comes out of that? I'm really curious to see where this is going to lead me, and I'm definitely looking forward to developing this story further. Right now I only have the general setting of the story, but I'm not quite sure yet where I'm gonna go with it. Are they gonna be modern animals, like the old lady, the koala? Or are they gonna be more like the bear, who seems to be more like a medieval guy? What are the details of their lives? Is there going to be technology? What's that world like? I only know that we have done something terrible to our planet, so that now there are huge, humongous bugs. And I really don't like bugs, so that's a bit disturbing. Well, I don't know anything else yet, so it's gonna be interesting to see where it's going to go. If you're interested in that sort of thing too, then maybe consider subscribing, because you will definitely see more of this story here in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button, because it definitely helps me out here on YouTube. But most importantly, let me know what you think about my characters. I always like hearing feedback from you guys. Should the story be set in a more modern world, with animals instead of humans? Or should it be a sort of medieval story that explores the human past or something like that? Let me know in the comment section below. In any case, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon for another video. Bye!